morning folks, Lone Wolf here again and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do another quick one today. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be quick. Basically, um, anybody who's, who's got an MT-800 or uh, the Explorer, as you know, it's a, it's a cable clutch. And a cable clutch is far more difficult to pull in, shall we say, than an hydraulic clutch. So therefore, if you're in the traffic, if you're in town or bits and bobs like that, it can get tired in on your hands. If, you, if you're if you using the clutch lots and lots of times, I know we've got the quick shifter on, but when you're in the town, it's first to second and down and stopping, starting. It's much easier to use the clutch, obviously. Well, the clutch on mine ain't bad, I've got to be honest. Um, I mean, I used to have an S1000XR and that was impossible. I mean, you use almost two hands to pull that thing in. So you were dreading coming to a full stop to get it into neutral and then to hold it or even hold it if you was in first gear. But this ain't too bad. But anyway, what I've come up with, I've done a bit of research, as, as we always do, and I've come up with this little contraption. I'll show you now. And you can see it. It's an extension for the clutch. Basically, it's it's an easy fit. Well, I'm hoping it's an easy fit. All it does is that changes the plate because you can change the angle. And that obviously fits there. And what happens is it gives you more leverage. So that, you can see, that that is longer than the original one. So it's giving you that little bit more leverage, which should make it a little bit easier to pull the clutch in. I don't think it's going to be a one finger clutch, but I think it's going to be help one way or the other. So that's it. I need cheap thing, AliExpress. I think we want a lot of money. So we'll try it out and see what happens, shall we? So folks, what we're going to need to do the job with is 30 mil Torx, eight mil short socket, and a 12 mil open spanner and a couple of screwdrivers I'll show you why I need these in the end but well, basically these three one two three are the three things that you mainly need to do the job with so we'll have a go shall we see how we get on right folks so the first thing to do is pull this little rubber boot back and I'm going to slacken these off can. Because I think it's going to have to come off one way or another. So I'm going to slacken these off. And the one on the other side. And that's, that's now there. You can see that's just moved it a bit. So that's eventually going to come back to there like that. So we'll get the torx 30. And we'll loosen this off. It shouldn't be that tight. That's the sound. So we're going to loosen that off. And that just pops off like that. Now as you notice here, you can see that just drops off like that. The other one, says these should come in the same, like that. And then that will then fit like that. But as you can see, that then is giving you an issue with the fact that it's going to pull pull out sort of thing, you know, there's a possibility you clutch cable pull in, pulling out. So what we're going to do is the next job is to whip this off. So that's your 8 mil. Track these, a couple of 8 mil bolts. Crack this one. A 
see how pounded I am today. They're quite, quite, they're in quite a way actually. And they've got a star. You know, you can use a, a 30 mil uh, ratchet key if you want. Well, star driver if you want, but I'd say that's going to be quite difficult. So you're better off just using your, your, your small ratchet to get them off. Says he. It's a bit by bit. These screws are in a hell of a long way, I must admit. There they go, I suppose you don't want them coming loose there. They've had a bit of Loctite on them as well, by the look of it. That's one. To burn the floor. And here's the other one. This has got to come off. So the only way you're going to get this off is by pulling this little rubber thing off here, which is probably that's it. And then obviously you've got to slide this bolt off, take this nut off here to slide it off. So we drop this nut off, slide that off there, and slide this off. We slide the other one back on. Like so, and we we'll pop the, the nut back on the lock nut. Just push that on a bit because I want some adjustment at some point. Probably the hardest bit now is going to get this back on here. You kind of know that now, it's going to take some doing, obviously. I got it back on, but the trick is just to use a pair of pliers to hold the cable while you push it back. And that's probably one of the hardest parts of the job, I would imagine. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drop these bolts back in, put them in here like that, because this is going to have to move at some point. We're going to have to get an angle on it to get what we want. If you can see, that needs to, I'm going to tighten that up. It don't need to go there like that be pushed over and this then will come back on here so there's a somewhat similar to that but we're obviously going to want to get that so as it's level so what we do is we, we pop a little bit of Loctite on these screws and a little bit don't need a lot pop them back in Let me do the second one. Bit of lock to it again. You don't need a lot, just a bit. Drop this one in there. I'm going to put them down, but I ain't going to pinch them, sort of thing. I'm just going to. Knock them down so I can get it all lined up level. So I get my eight mil, give it a bit of a tweak. a little bit and this is going to go on there but obviously 
you need the cable you need to get that back that needs to go back it says there you haven't pinched it up a bit too much Butterfingers this morning. We need to push that back so as it's in line with that, so to speak. Like that. So we need that to be pushed back. That's what this screwdriver is for, is to ensure. That it's, it's level because you don't want that at an angle. I mean, it's actually too much of an angle as it is, but I can pull that back out. So I'm going to push that back so as that's running. Pretty much straight. Just tighten this up. See how we go, just pinch that for a second. And this has got to fit on here like that. Obviously then what we need to do is, is tighten, is take the tension of this. And I've got to be careful here that that don't come out. So what I'm thinking looking at it, is you see how this is this way on, I think I'm going to turn that round so as it's pulling into it, right, so if you notice I turn that round and now I've got that, it's level, I'm just going to pinch it a little bit more, loosen it off and just try and push it back a little bit more to get it absolutely level so the pull off the off the cable is level you know what i mean there's no uh it's at the right angle it's still not quite but we can get it pretty much off i think if i slack that back one off a bit more i might be able to get a bit more that's it I'm just tighten this up now says he Pinch that one back up there. And that, I'll tighten this back up on here. Little tip, use your screwdriver to hold it against when you're tightening it up. I'll nip that back in here. I just pinch that in there, make sure that's upright. Now obviously we've got to adjust the clutch because it could be that there's it's not adjusted right. So folks, I've got it back together. And that that's as straight as I can actually get it. It wouldn't go any farther back because the actual clutch cab itself it comes through quite a steel bend there. So, but that's pretty much near straight, and I'm quite happy with that. So tighten this back up, tighten this back up. As I said, I remember, use your screwdriver just to pull that back when you're pinching that up to give you a bit of play. Make sure you've got enough play to the right how you feel. But I tell you what, that is unreal. The difference that makes, the difference that makes is unreal. So you've got, I'll show you around here. You've got adjustment on the top here as well. So make sure you've just got a bit of free play that you have there on the cable like that. You don't want too much, but that folks, it's unbelievable the difference that makes. It weren't bad before, but that is now. It's almost one finger clutch. 
washing back to where we were. So as I say, it's this it's a cheap little mod. It's again from our friends Ali. But remember, tighten that up and make sure when you you've done it all to set your bike up, take it off the stand and uh, put it in gear, make sure there's no drag or the clutch ain't gonna slip at any any point. Um, probably best to do that a little bit when you're going out for a ride, because you can adjust it all on the top. You have got these here to adjust there. I'll tighten them back up and just check. I have tightened them back up. Yeah, yeah, that's for you. And that one there's for you. And that, my folks, is a tiny little mod on the MT800 Explorer that will make a lot of difference, especially if you're in traffic. Okay then, so she's a lone wolf, so another little tip, another little accessory that I put on the bike. Uh, I do love tinkering. I do love having a little dabble and stuff like that. I've got some more to come. Um, as I said before, I'm really gonna get a the, the flap that goes in between the uh, suspension arm at the back because uh, I think that could be a, a, a disaster with all the dirt and muck on that. Uh, I've maybe mind upon an exhaust, um, hopefully that's on its way. And the tank decals, jury's still out. Um, I ain't sure about the bottom part of it, uh, it may well come off. Uh, and I may well not bother with it and use some else, but we'll see. But for the moment, she's doing the job, uh, stopping me letters, scuffing all the thing. So she's a lone wolf, saying uh, bye for now. Don't forget, give us a tick, give us a like, subscribe. Hit the button to get notifications so you know when I'm doing anything. So until the next time, it's lone wolf saying bye for now. And remember, just be careful out there. It's lone wolf, bye for now.